Hey guys, and welcome to part two of Pray for Africa. Okay, welcome to part two of the vision the Lord gave me concerning an east wind, an evil wind that was sent across the entire Africa to bring destruction. This is a part two. I didn't finish it, guys. So what is an east wind? An east wind is a um, meteorological and celestial phenomenon. All right? It's the kind of wind that Moses used to, um, to bring forth local that diseases in Egypt in those days. It is, it is a kind of a wind that was a strong wind that was also used to pass the Red Sea. For the Israelite to cross, it's also the red. It is also the, the, the wind that, whenever it, it goes, wherever it goes, it must create something either good or catastrophic. Okay, so this wind, guys, it was being sent to Africa by the colonial enslavers. Let um, me say, the Babylonians. Yes. So it was being sent to Africa because of how the of how Africa is waking up, because of how Africa is seeing itself, because of how Africa really is really portrayed itself, because Africa is gaining, is coming to full awareness, okay, of who she is, and her children are also waking up in their numbers to honor their own identity, to honor the, the their their true identity. So guys, they have not. They have, this has annoyed these intruders, and they don't like it. And they sat and conducted an east wind to accord to Africa. Start. It's going to bring confusion among the leaders, and of course, bring down the consciousnesses of the Africans, and then put them at a state where they'll be able to penetrate more and exploit Africa, beloved. This East Wind, however, was, in, was intended to create war, all kinds of situations, so that they, they will be able to penetrate into Africa, you know, to explain. Because whenever there is war, right, wherever there is war, people take advantage of that war. So this East Wind, beloved, they had to use the East Wind. But this East Wind did not fall on Africa. It fell somewhere else. It fell somewhere else. Africa was not touched because Africa is on the is on the spotlight, and because of this, they are not happy. And so they've been trying to subject Africa to misery. Why? Because they can no longer control Africa. They can no longer spy on Africa. They can no longer detect on Africa. They can no longer have that friendship that they used to have with Africa. Because they cannot see eye to eye with Africa in so many ways. You know, Africa was a ground even though it is still a ground, where they will come always to exploit, to dance on it, and do whatever they, they had been doing. But beloved, the man in which things are going right now, it's not going to be business as usual. Mm -mm. It's not going to be business as usual, guys. Because Africa now, they are beginning to understand their worth, and they are putting into effect, they are beginning to use their own resources for their own betterment. They are going to use to do, even though they are still relying on other people, but, but then at this time, they, they are really like recognizing who they are. At least they can really take care of themselves to a certain degree. And this is what the Babylonians don't like. Yes, as God was revealing to me in that vision. So the Lord is saying, that's why I was asking God about the people of God, all right? 
I was asking the most high yeah, concerning the people of God. So he said that I should forget about the people of God. Beloved, how, I don't know. How am I going to forget about you? How are you going to forget about your brothers and sisters? But not get a reason why you should forget about them. Why we should forget about them? That some of them were not called. Were not called. Some of them are the reason why Africans are suffering. Some of them are the reasons why Africa has been so so trampled upon. They have compromised. They have sold out Africa. And if they don't want to change. Lord said that the east wind that was sent, that was directed to Africa, is going to fall but on them because they are carrying guilt. They are carrying guilt in their hands. If they don't change, that the east wind that their, their people sent to Africa is going to fall on them. And those things that they have acquired so far are going to be transferred to the meek, the chosen ones. Some of them are in Africa, some of them in other parts of the world, beloved. When I say choose ones on the on earth, it doesn't mean that all of them are in Africa. No, some of them. All right. Some of them are in Africa, some of them are in a different part of the world. So this message, beloved, go if you are not yet, this is the previous one. Go and listen to why they have they send the east wind to Africa. All right. They have so many reasons why they send that east wind to Africa. And because, because Africa is a force to reckon with, Africa is recognizing its worth. Africa is rising. Africa is refusing their definition of her. Yes, what they had portrayed Africa to be in the world, Africa is refusing that. Africa says that if Africa says that she's not what the world has been saying. She's not what she has been portrayed to the world that she knows who she is. Africa says she knows who she is. So, guys, wherever that you are, if you are connected to Africa in one way or the other, it's, it's time for you to start praying for this continent to remain under protection. For this continent to remain under protection. The Lord says sooner or later, if you adopt in Africa, you need to see Africa's worth. It doesn't matter how the Lord says Africa is a milk, it's, 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 it's a virgin place. It, it's like a child that is under the, the under under is on, on, under under the care of God. Africa is feeding the entire world. Africa is a mother. Without Africa, other, other continents or other countries will not survive. Yet, they are mocking on Africa. They laughed on Africa. Looking down on Africa. Say they worth nothing. And the Lord says, really worth nothing? Then why all the scrambling over Africa? Why? Why all the, the mad rush for Africa? If indeed Africa is nothing, the Lord says don't be fooled, don't be deceived. If you are an African, be proud of Africa because Africa has what it takes to be on a world stage and perform and perform really well and come back with victory. That Africa is a force to reckon with. That is why. That is why they are after Africa. If Africa was nothing, they wouldn't have sent the East Wing to come and bring confusion so that they would gain access into Africa to exploit it as they had always been doing. But because they could not. But because they could not. Oh my God. The Lord says Africa is under protection. But because they could not, they are so annoyed. They are so frustrated, confused. They don't know what to do anymore. Some of the leaders in Africa, some of the persons in Africa, are no longer collaborating with them. And this is a concern. This is a concern, guys. 
Some of the some of the countries are just on their own. He said, don't want anything to do with them. And this is a concern. They have sat and they thought about the ways that they were going to penetrate and they created them. They, 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 they orchestrated the East Wing to come to bring confusion amongst the leaders. But beloved, it didn't work. It did not work. It didn't work. It didn't work. Africa is indeed a force to reckon with. Mm. How are they going to do? What are they going to do? How are they going to face their shortage? If Africa is going to say, no, we want to do things on our own, we want to operate on our own, we don't want any reunion with you anymore. We don't want any friendship with you anymore. Okay. Whatever that we are owing, we are going to pay. Okay. Stay with your own. We stay on our own. Let's do this as you who's going to survive. If you don't have, if you Africa don't, don't have all the technologies in the world to operate, they're going to survive because it was meant to survive. All along, they had lived in misery, poverty, pains, difficulties. Yet, they were living. Ancestors lived. They lived. And even now, it's even better now, at least. Most of Africa's children are now, they're now, their eyes are now opened and they are strong now to keep moving forward. Thank you, Lord, for listening. All right? Lord says, pray for Africa. There was an east wing. That was directed across Africa, but it did not, it did not carry out its intentions because there was, there was a divine intervention. This is to tell you that something is happening in Africa. Some people are having it; they, they, are, they are not, they are not guessing. It. Some people are like. Mm -mm. They don't want to see exactly. They don't, they don't want to see how Africa is operating. They don't like it, and so and so they have been trying to bring this confusion, but it does not work, and it will never work. All right, Africa is rising and is capable of taking care of itself. That's what I've got for you. For those for those of you who are Africans, or those of you who are coming to Africa in some way, this message is for you. Just say pray for Africa. If you ever if you are in a diaspora and you ever have plans to return to Africa, start praying for Africa. Okay. Do not be afraid, all right? Take the bold step to come to your motherland, all right? It's a land of milk and honey. That's what the Lord says. Africa is, and the milk is pure. The milk, the milk is pure. Hallelujah. It's a land of milk and honey. Don't mind the picture, the image that portraying about her, all right? She says, mm -mm. See, she has refused the image that they have portrayed her to the world. She says she's who she is. She knows who she is and she's ready to receive you. Yes. Thanks so much for listening. I'm Emily D. See you in the next video.